So now it's a Tingle Creek. This is a two mile grade one event. Oh, five year old just chases a top gaffer for oh, Craig Beckwith, game winner David Hooley, radioactive Derek Hinton, Cambia Brown Eyes David Rolson, Sneak in the Stars David Hooley, the other one Joshua Sutherland, and Witch Power Leon Van Rensburg, sir. Small figure of seven. Oh, this Tingle Creek, and then away and racing short run to the first, and they're all safely over it. But Cam Byer Brown Eyes is not hanging about, and it's quickly gone off into a full end lead. And it's going to be the one to put the pace to the race. Well, it looked like it was anyway, but now being held onto by the jockey and joined by Seeking the Stars and the other one. So over the second they go. And Safely over that one is a faller there. It's game winner that's gone at the ditch, the third fence, the first of the ditches. And David Hooley has lost one of his, but he's the only trainer. I think he's got two in it, so still there as they pass the winning post. And come by a brown eyes. He's about a length and a half clear of Gaffer for Craig Beckham, who's already had a grade one winner today. Then Witch Power is third. And seeking the stars and the other one. And finally, Radioactive, who's just the back marker. So just six left then. And Cambai Brown Eyes is in the lead. From Witch Power second, and Gaffer third. Seeking the Stars four. The other one five, and Radioactive six. As they complete the long run away from the stand, which Pretty sure there was a water jump. I don't know whether there still is a water jump, really. Or they've, whether they've got all done away with it. I know there was some talk about doing away with a lot of water jumps. I don't know the courses, but I'm pretty sure the water jump was still there. That's the one sort of race. And anyway, let's get back to this as they take that quick double. And that time there was a mistake by Leon van Rensburg's Witch Power. But it's come by Brown Eyes, who's five or six lengths clear of the other one as they take that ditch. And the leader jumped that one a little bit slowly, spent a lot of time in the air. And subsequently, the lead is now down to three lengths heading into the railway fences. Just six more fences to take, then. And these three railways come up pretty quickly, one after the other. And come by Brown Eyes leads over the first and the second, and will lead over the third as well. As they all get over the railways, they're well strung out and heads towards the pond, then just three to take now. And come by Brown Eyes is still three lengths clear of the other one who's in second, seeking the stars now being driven up into third. Then comes the gaffer who's back in fourth. Big gap then to Witch Power and a big gap again to Radioactive there. Strung out like washing as they head towards the pond, then the third from home. Come by Brown Eyes has been in the lead all the way and it's been pretty much sort of speed it up, slow it down type thing so far as they head down towards this pond fence and come by Brown Eyes led over it, jumped it really well, got away from it well as well, seeking the stars is in second the other one looks one paced in third, Gaffer is in fourth, making a bit of ground Witch Power's got a ton of ground to make up as they head towards the final two fences in there, in the Tingle Creek and it's come by Brown Eyes who led over it but a better jump by seeking the stars in second and now the other one suddenly found overdrive and it's trying to burst between the two of them over the final fence they go and seeking the Stars has hit the front, but now Cambai Brown Eyes is fighting back. Seeking the Stars is in the lead again now, and Seeking the Stars is starting to pull away. And Seeking the Stars is going to take it as they race to the line. It's Seeking the Stars who wins a single Creek. Cambai Brown Eyes is second, Gaffer third, then the other one, and then which power after that, and all the way back to Radio Active, who was the last one to finish. And David Hooley might have had the only faller in the race, but he's also had the only winner in the race. I'm sure he'll take that as a result every time. So Seeking the Stars takes it for David Hooley. Come by Brown Eyes, the long-time leader for David Robertson, was unlucky in second. Gaffer for Graham Beckwith was third. The other one was fourth for Joshua Southern. That one looked like it was coming to win its race at one point, but then just dropped away again. And the fifth horse to finish was Witch Power for Leon van Rensburg.